What's going on, everybody? It is Deltre, and we are back with some more Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3. Now, I do apologize for a little bit of a delay in this one. Uh, <laughs> I just ended up a little bit more busy over the past few days than I honestly expected. However, we are back, and I do believe we were just about to go on to the Zirikawa Falls here in pursuit of Delita once more. There actually wasn't too, too much I had to add about things from the last part. Uh, I did see a comment, though. Uh, asking about what kind of method that I'm going to be using to play this game because I had mentioned that the quote-unquote best way and of course you can play this game however you want right it's a single player game after all but the quote-unquote best ways to play 1.3 are to do it at a very low level or a very high level and there is actually some theory behind that so the reason that that is the case is because of the final battle more or less uh, th the rest of the game does kind of penalize you for overleveling as well, but really the final battle is where it gets absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so check this crap out. On the final battle, the final boss, as well as her team of... I, th I think she has, like, ultimate demons. We'll see those later on in the game. But basically, the final boss and her team are all set to be 25 levels higher than the rest of your team. So, what this does is, in essence, it makes her stats absolutely out of this world if you try to fight her at a middling level. Uh, for example, if I go in at level 50, then she will be level 75, okay? Whereas if I go in at level 1, she'll only be level 26. And yes, it's still the same 25 levels. However, the way the stats work in this game, uh, it makes it so that not all levels are created equally, if that makes sense. So, let's say I go in at level 1, okay? My team might have a speed of, let's say, 12, with all of the good stuff that I can get from now until the end of the game. Uh, the final boss might have a speed of 15 because she's level 26, which is still pretty high. She, she would have like three more speed than the rest of my guys after all in that case, which is still pretty fast. Now let's say I go in at level 50, okay? And at this point, maybe my team can hit 15 or 16 speed, but now the boss is level 75. She's got maybe 21 speed or more. So you can see the difference there is bigger. Instead of her only having three more points of speed over me, now she's got, <laughs> now she's got five points of speed over me which is a big difference, a very, very big difference. And that goes for every stat as well, not just speed, but physical attack, magical attack, everything, you name it. She just gets bigger, bitter, and nastier the longer you wait to do it. But if I go in at level 99, then the final boss is still only level 99, thereby negating that 25 bonus levels that she would have gotten because no matter how high of a level the game wants the boss to be, she can still only be level 99 because that's the max level. So hopefully that makes sense, clears that up a little bit. Uh, for what I'm doing, I'm just gonna kind of do what I've been doing, honestly. Uh, you could be a lower level than I am, honestly. I've seen people do just about every map in this game at level 1. Which, <laughs> in case you're wondering how you do that, it's very, very tedious because you need to unlock all of your jobs through Spillover JP. Which means you're really only unlocking things two points at a time. So yeah, have fun doing that on a console without any kind of hacks or cheats or anything like that. But yeah, I, I'm probably gonna be doing like a normal-ish playthrough. Like again, you could be a lower level than I am without a doubt. It would be easier if you were. But this is, this is probably how most people would approach it if they were just trying not to grind or whatever. Uh, but, <laughs> but before we go into the final dungeon, I'm probably gonna have to grind up to level 99 just because uh, the final boss really is that crazy. I'm not, I'm not just making this up. She's utterly ridiculous. She can, she has a move that can inflict the worst status on you in the game at a 100% rate. And it's a status that we probably won't see outside of that final boss. Uh, the only possible way you can dodge it is by having more than 70 brave. And I, I guess that's, I, I guess we can leave it at that. I wouldn't be surprised if some people didn't even know that this status effect is even in the game at all. <laughs> that's how rare it is to see it normally, but it is absolutely nasty. And she can just do that. And she can also just hit everybody on the map uh, multiple times, in fact, if she feels like it, with one spell. And also, she doesn't have any charge times on any of her spells. And also, she has two swords. And she's also got... You know what? <laughs> we'll see it. We'll see it when we see it. But she's utterly ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. I don't think that there's any real, true, 100% way to defeat her, honestly. That's how broken I think she is. And I, I'm not exaggerating at all. I do not believe that there is a way to both 100% reliably beat the first form and the second form all with one team. Because it, I, I don't know. I, I feel like they just kind of stopped trying, if I'm being honest. I feel like they stopped trying with the very final battle. Everything up until that point is mostly fine, though. Uh, now, for Gaff Garion, we want to turn him into a chemist for this next fight. And he's not going to need any items or anything like that. So we can just go ahead and completely strip him of all gear. Like so. <laughs> Uh, 
Also, the stores have upgraded since the start of Chapter 2, so I bought some new stuff for some of my guys. Uh, I don't really want Dude to have this stuff. I just bought it so that I would have them in my supply, but the headgear gives you one physical attack, and the mythal vest gives you one magical attack. Uh, so I'll be using those for, like, a map or so. There was some better armor as well, so now you see Butts. He's unkillable with 185 HP. Uh, I think we're going to go with Butts, Boko... Muffin and my GE for this next map Which should work out well We want to keep both of these two as time mages still Only thing is Do I want to uh, Do I want to distribute th these vests or not I guess No not remove The only thing about giving uh, Muffin the mithril vest is that uh, Unfortunately you can see there If I did we would not have enough for Leviathan So I can't do that Can't do that unfortunately But we'll be getting a better item for her After this next map anyways uh, my G though, he doesn't really care about the MP, so I can throw this on him, and he's a little bit stronger now because of it. Uh, we don't really need the headgear for anything on him either. That would probably be bad though, because we'd be reducing our MP, right? And I have spike shoes on my G and Agrias as well for this next map, because the extra jump should be nice. I could give it to Muffin, but I really would rather just have her hold on to the diamond armlet for more power and whatnot. Yeah, I think we'll, uh, hold off on Dude until the second map here. She might be better on that one. Now, but since he has four jump, I'm pretty sure that he can just... I, I think he'll be fine with battle boots, basically. All right, let's get it. Now, I, I really don't remember the formations here too well. Uh, and also, what's kind of annoying is that because we have two guest characters, I, I can still only bring four characters of my own, which it is a little bit unfortunate. I kind of don't like that, especially because... Uh, <laughs> You guys were coming through on the names, and I also saw a lot more as well, so we can go ahead and throw those on the list next time, I guess. Uh, I just want to bring Boko here as well, because he's he's pretty decent. He's pretty decent on this map. He can do some stuff. Maybe not the best choice, honestly. Uh, Duder Volanis would be putting in a lot of work here, too. But if we got butts, we got to bring Boko, right? That's the whole point, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Uh, but we're, we're going to have some... We're going to have some very good guests on this map as well, so it's not necessarily the worst thing that I can only bring for. I, I just kind of like using my generics, I'll be honest. And generics are very good. Just because we get special units does not mean that generics cannot hold their own. Speaking of special units, though, hey, what's up, man? It's over. Surrender. Turn the princess over to us and we'll spare your life. Ah, that's a bald-faced lie. You want to kill her. Then after that, you'll kill me for knowing the truth. I like Delita. He's smart. <laughs> He's ridiculous. <laughs> we came to help the princess. Why would we want to kill her? We can't let Kotana keep her. Yeah, the leader's not gonna fall for that shit. No way. And just in time. Princess Sovelia. Ah, my formations could be better. I guess Boko's not in a bad spot, though, because he has a really good jump. He can just... Well, you'll see. Agrias. Great, here comes the crowd. And they look tough. Ha <laughs> ha. kill them and do it now. Don't know what's going on, but it's in the contract. Oh, god damn it, dude. It's always the Black Knight that betrays me. Gafgariot, are you betraying us? Yes! <laughs> Betraying you! Come on, this is business! Our job is to kidnap the princess unharmed. The job is to kill you all and keep things quiet. What are you getting at? This kidnapping's a sham. The princess is in the way. The prince should be the next in line. If she's alive, there'll be nothing but trouble. Since you're gonna die. Oh. I I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out what he's saying here. Okay, since you're gonna die, I'll let you help me. If the princess is kidnapped and killed by Goltana, they'll be rid of her and his rivals. I'm sure that's how Prince Log wrote the scenario. No, Dysodark probably wrote it. Don't you agree, my G? <laughs> I love Delita. He's honestly one of my favorite characters ever in any video game, to keep it a buck with you guys. Right, my G, let's get him all. Oh, yeah, because Rams is going to go for that. Another helpless sacrifice. Whoa, Rams is guy. Another helpless sacrifice. No more. There must not be any more victims like Tita. So, uh, yeah, Gafgarion just stabbed us in the back. So, <laughs> you might be thinking, aha, so that's why you made him a chemist. And uh, you would be right. Uh, in the original game, <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so, what's going to happen first here? I guess, oh, Boko. Wow, look at this guy go. Yeah, Boko's really fast, by the way. And you can see that despite uh, there really not being a good way to get past these guys, like, there's no ability that lets me pass through enemy units. Uh, none that I have just yet, anyways. But Boko doesn't care about that. Now, in the original game, <laughs> Gafgarion would still be a chemist, and he would have nothing. 
but because this is 1.3 you see uh, they they accounted for that oversight so no matter what you do Gav Garion will still be a dark knight and he will still have some sort of viable setup on him even if you did what I did turn him into a chemist and strip him of all of his gear he's still gonna be able to uh, do stuff on this map to some extent uh, you don't have to kill him though you only have to drop him to crit I'm fairly confident now we also have Avelia. Jeez, oh, Boko, calm down. We have Avelia over here. Uh, if she dies, you lose. So we do have to protect her uh, to some extent, but she's actually really kick-ass, and I've seen her like nuke enemies on this map sometimes if they should happen to spawn, like with best compatibility with her or something, because she can just throw out holies sometimes. Uh, that's not usually what she does. She has like a unique AI, and so does Agrias on this map for that matter. Uh, but we can talk about him in a second. And we also have Delita over here who, uh, 9 times out of 10, he's going to be soloing the right-hand side of the map for me. So that's always good. <laughs> but he has some really good abilities now. He can use Holy Sword, same as Agrias. Now, what are we going to do with Boko here? Uh, just for the record, these are his abilities. He can cure himself. I believe Choco Star is the status one, though. And we could, honestly, it's probably the way to go, right? Try to Choco Star one of these clowns. Because that's as good as a kill. That's as good as a kill if we pull it off. And since I... Since I have such good jump on all my characters, we're not really being hindered by the terrain so much here. I guess the only question then is, is there somewhere that I can get a good uh, paste off? And the answer would be no, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I mean, if I throw one here, I can hit Boko and uh, Fluffy. So yeah, that's probably how that's going to go. So if I leave Boko right here. Do I want to go for Gaff Garyon? No, because I could get a counter flood. Now that that's like an AOE counter attack. It uses the Geomancer skill set, uh, and I think if it should have went off for Gavgarion right there, he could have potentially stopped some of my guys, and I don't want that at all. We do get to sleep on that Lancer though. There's one guy that I don't have to worry about for a while, basically. Let's see a Crush Punch, buddy. Come on, let's see this Crush Punch. Oh, block! Come on, come on. <laughs> uh, now that. That ability that he just uses does have a 20% chance to just instantly kill anybody. <laughs> so, uh, there's that. Now, here's why Ovelia is not in too much danger, despite the fact that she doesn't start in the greatest spot. Uh, she's gonna buff herself to hell and back. And I, I think this skill is called, like, M Barrier or something like that, but basically it's Protect, Shell, Haste, Regen, Re-Raise, all in one spell. You can't get it yourself, but some guest characters can use it every now and then. They are gonna go for Delita pretty hard here. But that Dragon Spirit's gonna keep him alive, since it's gonna give him re-raise like that. So even if he dies for some reason, it's like whatever, really. And he's gonna keep those three distracted very nicely here. There's a Wave Fist. Man, Delita's tanking everything with his face. Every single hit, man. But that's okay, we've only got two enemies to deal with on our side. Of course, Ovelia's Alve gonna get hit here, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but she's really, really strong regardless. Uh, I think she even has, like, innate defense up. Just in the off chance, she would, like, instantly get dropped by some of these guys. I think that the developers threw you a bone in that sense. But, uh, yeah, bottom line, she's not really in too much danger, honestly. If I were the enemy, I would be more afraid of her than anything else. So here comes an M barrier. And like I was starting to say, she actually has a unique AI on this map. First, she will M barrier herself. Then she will M barrier Agrias. And then... And only then will she start, like, worrying about anything else. Princess Ovelia will save you. And Agrias is different on this map, too, because she's just going to protect Ovelia at all costs. I don't think so. Oh, I do. Are you sure of what you're doing? The princess may be adopted, but she's still royalty. I'm quite sure. Even princesses can die for getting in the way. That's what royal blood is about. Are you mocking the princess? Get in the way, get killed. It's the same for commoners. The only difference is people like you pledging blind loyalty. Unless you make it to the top, you're only going to be you, so you're better off dead. Then I'll save her. And she will do her best. This is why we gave her the spike shoes, by the way, so that she can actually contribute. Oh, stop him, please. Oh, please, baby, please. Stop, stop, stop. Yes. <laughs> so there's two enemies dead, essentially. And I mean, yes, granted, they're not entirely dead. Oh, I would have needed five. Oh, I didn't account for that correctly. I genuinely thought four was enough. Damn. Uh, I could actually just jump on Boko, though. If I really want to. I'm kind of tempted to. Oh, what? You can't ride Boko? You can't mount Boko? Really? But I'm butts. <laughs> Damn. I thought you could. You could ride other Chocobo. 
Like, that's a real thing. I guess BOGO is special. Huh. Now, I don't think I'll be needing the Chakra here. So it may be in my interest to start getting damage on Gavgarion so that that way we hopefully just instant drop him with Leviathan. So I'll get that little bit of damage. Uh, we can throw a haste to both Fluffy and Boko. Delete it, you're alive. Imagine meeting you here. <laughs> I like how casual Delete is in all this too. It's like he just does this shit on the daily. <laughs> Doesn't even phase my man. Are your brothers still running? Are your brothers still running your life? If I were these Lancers, I'd be feeling a little bit insulted. <laughs> Who knows? They never tell me anything. But, uh, Delita, are you party to their plot? Don't be foolish. I'm here to save the princess. To free her from those who are exploiting her. Don't lie to me. You were hired too, weren't you? You were hired to kidnap her for money. Don't play dumb. No, I'm not like you. It's not for the money. Then who's getting in my way? A kid who heard the plan and decided to save her for justice? Who hired you? Who told you about the plan? Talk! None of your business. <laughs> Ooh, tell him, Delita. Uh, so now we can get that haste on out here. Shouldn't be able to get stopped in any meaningful way. Oh, it doesn't work like that. Damn. <laughs> I knew it was only, like, one tolerance, but I thought that if I threw it here, it could still, like... I, I don't know what I thought. <laughs> I don't know what I thought. I guess if I was thinking about that a little bit harder... Yeah, I could have had two people, like, right here and right here so that I could get two hastes, but that's fine, really. Uh, maybe I still can, because I could, like... Yeah, maybe I still can. And my G can actually jump up there, so... Yeah, this is actually what we want, I think. My G can still jump up there regardless, so it doesn't matter too, too much. Uh, wow, nice compatibility there, buddy. Uh, is... Th <laughs> oh, no, he just has really bad faith. I got you. And I'm thinking that he must have, like, magic defense up innately. Because he's really taking a lot less than he should, even with his really bad faith and all. Uh, yeah, we want to get that off, though. That's like half of his life. And then I think that Boko plus Agrias should be able to get him out of there, more likely than not. And if not Agrias, then I can just punch him again, basically. But we only need to get him into critical. So that should be more than enough damage, I think. So there's two ace for us. Now we're a little bit faster. Uh, it might have been better in the short term to just like to just hang out and save the CT. But in terms of the overall map, I think that this will work out a little bit better for me. And I'm still gonna need to get a chakra off at some point if I ever want to cast anything else. Uh, I'll probably be able to like ace Boko or something like that with Fluffy. But for the most part, we want to. Well, first of all, we want to get not stopped here. That would suck. Damn it! <laughs> I knew that could happen. I knew that was a possibility. <sighs> okay, so that being the case... Well, actually... Hey, would you look at that? <laughs> Alright, so I guess then, though, does Gafgarion... Well, my G will get a turn. My G will get a turn before Gafgarion, I do believe. Sure enough. Sure enough. Okay, so... It was Ovelia, my G, Delita, and Boca right now. If I bring back your girl, I think that she might get a turn, possibly? Uh... Hmm. I mean, truthfully, I'm kind of tempted to try and sleep Gav on, but that seems like that could be a bad idea. And my man had how much jump? I really, I really should have paid closer attention to the mechanics of Night Sword, I think. Uh, but this move should be okay. So there you go. Boko, one of the few characters that can actually cure stop in a meaningful way. <laughs> so there you go. Probably one of the hardest status effects to get rid of. Uh, when did that guy wake up? When did that guy wake up? Does does magic wake you from sleep in this game and I never noticed that or something? I guess it must. What are you, ally or enemy? Human, just like you. Yep. <laughs> I always like that line. Human, just like you. So now Ovelia is going to blow that guy up. Uh, I'm actually surprised that she didn't go for Agrias, but I guess it's strictly because she can kill this guy. Ordinarily, she will buff Agrias. Like, nine times out of ten. And she'll also use your elixirs. Because <laughs> she can do that. Nice one, Ovelia. Nice. So that's one less guy that I have to kill. I'm really surprised that Delita didn't get a dead proc, because it usually does. 
Did you know about this? Why such a dirty trick? Dirty? There's no dirty when it comes to money. I'm a mercenary. I have to finish the jobs I take. It's called being a pro. Why didn't you tell me? Why? If I told you, would you have stopped me? If I don't do this, someone else will. Get it? People die all the time without you knowing about it. That's reality. You think you can stop something you know nothing about? I'll do my best. But... But does that make it right? No buts. You're just a child who doesn't want to face reality. If you don't like it, try living without depending on someone else for a change. But don't come complaining to me if you can't. God, I love the writing in this game. though. <laughs> I, I wish it was less angry, sure, but like... You get the point. Perfectly fine, I would assume. Now, if I spirit surge that guy, I actually think that we just kill Gaffy outright. Uh, alternatively, I can move, like, here, which would ensure that no matter what, Fluffy will still survive, and it would also give Butts a good spot to chakra from, so I'm thinking we're about to do that. Yeah, it actually only makes sense to get into his face, now that I think about it. It only makes sense to make this move, and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you guys understand why. Uh, although, I am risking a little bit. I'm risking ever so slightly if I were to, like, charge an attack. So I guess we don't do that. Holy Strike might actually do some decent damage. Uh, but then I risk Counter Flood, which would probably get me killed. And uh, Agri actually, I think Agrios is the only one. Uh, maybe Butts does. Okay, so Butts has item. But other than that, Agrios is really my only revival here. So instead, we're just going to hang out and save a little bit of CT. We can double turn Gav Gary on pretty easily. Uh, Delita's just going to go for the damage outright. Now that looks bad, but he's he's like fine. He, he, he'll be right back, I promise. And since we got that stop, I'm not really that worried. Of course, Agrias leaves her back totally exposed. Thanks, Agrias. Appreciate it. <laughs> no dodge needed. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess Garyon cannot attack me. He does have move HP up, which I suppose is a little bit annoying. But I'm good for another Leviathan here, I think, because I'll be able to get the chakra up. And then I can hit two Lancers and Gav Garyon. Oh, but wait. Okay, yeah, I see how. I see how. Uh, so we can go for this first. Oh, I don't even have to move. Nice. Yeah, I can hit all of them. And we're going to target the panel and not Agrias because she might move. <laughs> so we'll do that. Ophelia's even going to buff. Nope, she's going to use my high ether. Cool. <laughs> That's fine, too. Yeah, she will use her items, so if you care about that kind of thing, I guess be quick. But she's, again, she's really in no danger of dying. It's really, really hard. I don't think I have ever, even a single time, lost because of that. Oh, really, Agrias? Really, Agrias. You guys are as mad as I am, right? Because now I can't... Oh, my God. Really? Agrias, I love you, but... <laughs> Oh, I'm so... I'm so mad. <laughs> so now how am I killing Gavgarion? Thank you, Agrias. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Okay. What I was gonna do was move here and use Chakra. If that wasn't... <laughs> if that wasn't clear. So that that way I didn't waste a move. But I guess that's not what's happening. And now Gavgarion's getting all this healing and I'm wasting all this time. At least we don't get stopped. I'll say that. But now I think because Agrias did that, I really just need to stop him. Or not stop him, but sleep him. I think I kind of have to now. Otherwise, this is going to get out of hand really fast. I can't believe she did that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Let's get up here. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I kind of I, I feel the need to now. Because otherwise, we could have taken him out of here right now. Between Leviathan, a Choco Ball, and then anything else that I really wanted to go for if he still wasn't low enough. But now I need to do this because he's going to just constantly heal off all the damage. God damn it, Agrias. <laughs> if I had to add a death to the counter because of you, I am benching you so hard. <laughs> and she didn't even use an ether, though. That's the thing, because she could have. She could have definitely just used an ether. So. Shit, man, that's so upsetting. Can I get somewhere where I can be chocolate at least? No, because Agrios is still in the only tile that would work. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so if I didn't explain that, I'm just gonna let you know that uh, we for sure lost that last run, like without a doubt. And I could, of course, make you guys watch 15 minutes of me not winning regardless, but instead I decided, uh, let's take a realistic approach and just take the L, because Agrios definitely screwed me. There was no way I was coming back after that point. I can guarantee you that. I can guarantee that much. That's fine. We don't need to hit that. Whatever. It would have been nice, of course, but it's not necessary. <sighs> so let's just get back to where we were. Oh, he has to concentrate this time. Oh, yeah, that's one more thing. There is a little bit of variation. <laughs> yeah, there goes Crush Punch. Nice HP, bud. <laughs> but yeah, there is a little bit of variation with uh, what Delita and with what Gaff Garyon will spawn with. So this time, I guess, Ovelia decides that she doesn't want to be protected. Okay. <laughs> Green units, man. They're the same in every game. Why would she run right at them? <laughs> oh, she has auto potion this time, though, too. So that's whatever, really, I guess. Yeah, the AI, uh, the, the the setups for the guests and whatnot, they can change slightly. Same thing with Gap Gary. Yeah, there's a jump, I guess. That is so unfair. <laughs> Why is that fair? <laughs> I didn't get to move. She's... Why is that fair? <laughs> What? I've never seen that. What? I can't I can't save her. There's no way for me to save her. Oh my god, this game. I'm so mad. I'm actually mad. I'm actually so salty. I'm mad. She's still gonna die, I'm pretty sure. Actually, she might not. She might not. That's right, because she was charging as well as uh, didn't have protect and uh, everything, really. <laughs> now, if I have any luck, it's possible that Ovelia... No, not even close. <laughs> By the way, it does not matter that she has re-raise. If she dies, she dies. And that's it, regardless. Um, I should not Oko myself. I really shouldn't, so I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, that's probably my best bet. I don't want her charmed. I really don't. That's a Leviathan, after all. I still think I want to get this haste, though. And honestly, I'm thinking about just saving Gaffy for last, because, like... We can get some really good damage on two of these guys. And then I'm pretty much positive that Delita could just kill the other. Uh, Tauros, so... No, we're a Virgo, right? So that should be good compatibility. Yeah! Yeah, so this guy's probably dead, especially because he has good faith on top of that. Yeah, so you're done. What about you, bud? And a Virgo. And your faith is 55. Okay, well, Delita can still kill that guy off, no doubt. Uh, those tiles are equal in height. Night Sword has a range of 3, I think, so... This is what we want. This right here is what we want. Nobody should be able to get out of the way, I don't think. Assuming that Ophelia even lives, she, she very well might die. I'm not entirely sure. I'm really not. I, I've never seen that ever. So this is a first for me. Come on, please let Protect be enough. Oh my god, it's going to be so close. But the second guy did less, I think, I hope. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. Oh my god, this is too much. This is too much. Please, please kill the Lancers. One of them will die. The other one should be killed by Delita. And if not, I'm going to die. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, Boko. Boko can save me. Uh, we literally cannot let any of these guys by Ovelia get a move at this point. It's They can't. <laughs> they literally cannot. On the other hand, though, we have... Nope, not Unilis. We have uh, quite a few people that are going to get a move first. Um, in a perfect world... Well, actually, you know, if, if I go for a Chakra, I'll have enough to tank the Night Sword. So we don't need to worry about that. I was just kind of concerned that... By the way, look at Poco. <laughs> look at his... Look at this guy. He's got jumps. Mad hops. Uh, I think that Jogaball should be more accurate. No? Interesting, interesting. Uh, I thought that... I thought there would be a magic attack, basically. I guess it's physical. I knew that I was going to miss, so... I don't know why I assumed anything differently. Yeah, I guess I should have just shot from behind him. But I kind of want to prevent Agrios from doing anything stupid, so... <laughs> I kind of wanted to move him closer at the same time. Uh, Ophelia is going to go for something. As long as she's bringing herself back, I guess I really don't care. Yeah, there we go. So she's safe for a little while now. But we still don't want to take forever here. And of course, one of those guys will be coming back because we did unfortunately trigger his re-raise without... 
uh, without making any meaningful progress, you know. Um, I think that if I want to use my G, I can body block Gavgarion, and I might. I genuinely might. I don't think that I'll need to, but I just don't want... I don't want Fluffy to get murked by him in combination with those Lancers. He got three or four, man. He's only got three. So yeah, actually, if I put my G in his face, uh, that'll protect me, basically. So we do that, and he can't get around. Uh, Delita will probably kill one of these guys. He might be able to kill both uh, if he has Lightning Stab. He doesn't, I guess. Dead, dead, dead. Damn it. <laughs> Seriously, sometimes Delita will just Oko every single one of those guys, and when he does, it's a true treat. Counter, counter. Oh my god, this guy is unbeatable! <laughs> He's unbeatable! Now, this guy actually has Chakra, which is just annoying. It doesn't actually make it any harder per se because they're still both in range of life and let's not forget <laughs> I didn't unlearn that spell halfway through the map now but they are they are doing the whole hit and run thing and that can be a little bit annoying damn it Boko this is your fault you just wanted to die I take it because if not you probably would have landed your attacks oh there goes my helmet too cool <laughs> I hate this game <laughs> I can honestly say I've never had this bad luck on this map before. Like, this is unreasonable. <laughs> Give me some stops or something. I like how she moved out of range of the other guy, just so that she can ensure that she wouldn't be hitting two two targets. I love that. I love that, Agrias. I really do. Okay. Uh, we can throw a Leviathan and kill two more goons. Uh, can we though? What is the vertical tolerance on you again? It's not that much, I don't think. Yeah, so I guess that right there is our spot. I should think. And who's gonna move? Only my characters will get a turn, so this is the way. Yep, that's the way. We can pop his re rays and get damage on the other guy as well. Ovelia might, might kill somebody for me, but probably not. Yeah, that's what I thought. Actually, I don't think she has enough MP, so okay, in that case, we can let it slide. Uh, here's a haste on two of my guys, though. Oh, hey, would you look at that? Would you look at that? And of course, we don't have the greatest uh, compatibility with butts, but we will hit Fluffy, and we will hit himself, most likely. Uh, so there we go. And that's also a prime position for yet another Chakra. Which should keep us in this game really nicely. Alternatively, I could pick up Boko because for some reason, uh -huh, item has literally infinite vertical tolerance. So I could be on height 0, they could be on height 20, and I could still hit them. <laughs> this should be like a kill and then some. Yeah, a kill and a half, basically. And we don't even have to go anywhere, really. And I won't. I just want to get myself back in the game a little bit. We have plenty of time before we need to pick up Boko. And by not moving, I think that, mm, well, maybe not. I was going to say that potentially, oh, God damn it, Delita, attack them. <laughs> attack them. He's just going to die again. <laughs> Got the AI in this game sometimes. But what I was going to say is I, I almost kind of thought that maybe uh, Butts could get a double chakra, which would just let me continuously spam Leviathan, basically, which is what we're doing until... Uh, until we can get a better hold on this map, basically. The, the first turns really just kind of didn't lend themselves well to uh, to dealing with this quickly. Not this time, anyways. The first time we were totally fine, it's just that Agrias decided, nah, that was a little bit too easy. Seemed like your plan was working a little bit too well, Dildre. <laughs> sure would be a shame if the bad AI came through right about now. <laughs> but it's whatever. It's whatever. And I think that Gavgarion is now officially out of MP. So he really can't do a goddamn thing to me. Yeah. Uh, and looking at the turn order there, I should actually be able to throw up another Leviathan. Yeah, I can. Uh, assuming I move somewhere that I can be chakra at, which would be like right here. Honestly, it really doesn't matter at this point. I, I want to say that it doesn't, so we're just going to throw this Leviathan here, I guess. Yeah, I can't get that last guy, unfortunately. Uh, maybe I could have, though. 
No, I don't think so. I was thinking maybe I could have just like charged it on a character and then moved the character in, which is something you can do. Like if I charged a spell targeting butts and then moved butts, he would like he would carry the spell with him basically, uh, which is something you can do sometimes. It's pretty cool if really neat. <laughs> Doesn't come into play a whole lot, but it can be funny when it works. Uh, Ophelia again, she's totally fine. She's totally fine. Agrias is probably going to do something pretty stupid. Yep, she's going to, uh, I think that wastes my Leviathan potentially. Uh, maybe not. Maybe the damage mattered. I, I honestly couldn't even begin to tell you. Yeah, and bury yourself. We know, we know. Okay, and this is, <laughs> by the way, this is what I wanted to do on the very first attempt where <laughs> it would have worked out fantastically. But you can charge a spell and then get the MP you need after the fact, so long as you have enough MP by the time the spell goes off. So we didn't have 40 MP when we cast the spell, but since we have it now, Leviathan will still go through. Basically. And at this point, I'm honestly thinking I'm just gonna... Well, I can either revive Boko, which wouldn't be too bad, because it'll stop Delita from being dumb. Or I could potentially haste Delita himself, because he's actually really good here, as he's been demonstrating. But I think, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll revive Boko so that that way Delita doesn't waste his time. Is 55 going to be enough? No, we'll just go for full life unless it's really bad accuracy or something. No, that's perfectly fine. Uh, oh, yeah, one other thing about Boko is that he has the 13th sign, so he is neutral with everybody, no matter what. He will never have good compatibility, but he will never have bad compatibility either. So that's pretty neat. He's very consistent that way, if nothing else. But yeah, honestly, I'm surprised Full Life is not more expensive, but I guess that's because they wanted to balance it with Phoenix Down, right? Because Phoenix Down can be used by anybody for no MP uh, instantly. So I guess by having Full Life be kind of cheap and kind of fast from the looks of it, uh, <laughs> that actually makes white magic worth the damn. Assuming we hit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, the animation for that always has me shook because it's like, it's not very clear if it's going to hit or not. Uh, please do not, like, charm her or something, man. There we go. Nice guard, Obelia. Oh, please kill. Please kill. Oh, damn it. I was hoping for, like, a crit. That would have been too funny. I don't think I've ever actually seen her kill anything with the staff whack, so I was I was really kind of hoping. Now, Leviathan here is no good because Gavgarion's going to get a kill. Or uh, get a turn, I mean. But I could actually re-haste ourselves, I guess, or I could just do nothing. Uh, let me just do nothing, actually, because that'll give me the most CT. I was thinking maybe haste Alita or something, but nah, we'll be good. We'll be good. So, even though this one dragged out a little bit longer than it probably needed to, I think we're doing okay here now, though. Uh, taking Gav Gary out is still going to be a little bit of a trick. It really just depends on, uh... Well, it, yeah, it, just, it really just depends. He doesn't have Night Sword anymore, though. Uh, this guy, I think we can drop him before he gets a turn, so I don't really care. And, uh... Let's see, he didn't really have anything too crazy. That move HP up is annoying, though, because, as you can see, his HP is still restoring itself naturally. And you do need to get him down to critical HP again. So... The more healing he gets, the more... <laughs> like, the longer this takes, basically. But without Knight Sword, he's lost a huge part of that, I feel. And honestly, I can just choke ball this guy and not move, I think. Just redrop him. Yeah, just redrop him and whoop. Wrong way. Maybe I hit this guy. Maybe I can hit that guy with Leviathan. It just depends. But these guys are all getting to the point that they are well within range to be finished off by really everything. Assuming we can land an attack with Bogo. There we go. There we go, my man. And he's still healthy enough to survive for a little while longer. And I'm just going to keep using butts as a battery, honestly. This is why monks are so great. Because if not for that, I mean, I would have I would have only had one Leviathan, basically. And that would be the biggest shame of it all, really. And we're just going to keep buffing ourselves. It's kind of important to get that little bit of advantage, you know what I mean? 
Uh, with extra speed comes extra turns, and that's going to make all the difference here in taking these guys out, I feel. I should actually be able to get yet one more. And if this one goes off... Oh, who's Alexei? I think he's the guy who's running, right? He should be this guy up here. Yep, okay, so he's irrelevant. And with this Leviathan... Uh, we should be able to get two kills this time, finally. No! <laughs> ah, here, here's the spot. Yeah, that's what I thought. I figured there would be some way. You just kind of have to manipulate the heights, because as you can see, this is a 9.5, this is a 12.5. Uh, Leviathan has a vertical tolerance of 3. Uh, but this distance is 3.5, so it doesn't work. But from here, we're good. From here, we're good. None of them... No! No! Oh, <laughs> I hate that. I'm not doing that, by the way. It just automatically cycles between the two tiles. Uh, but from that spot, we've just got two kills, which means Agrias is going to go after Gaffy. If she gets a stop, this map is over. He's not immune to stop. He's... <laughs> Apparently, he's immune to being beaten, though, because... <laughs> God damn. Oh, well. Now, if Ophelia wants to get that treasure for me, I wouldn't be opposed. Aww. I'm surprised she's not... She's not buffing Agrios. Their AI usually... Huh. Well, I guess the game just wants to make me look like a liar, I guess. But <laughs> normally, Agrios will stop at nothing to get over to Ophelia. And I think that's what she's trying to do now. I guess she just, by coincidence, could also attack a lot of things along the way. So that's probably what was going on there. Uh, but I think that these are our last two Lancers, which leaves only Gav Garyon, correct? I think so. There we go. And really, it's that huge range that makes this all so absurd, you know what I mean? If not for that, it would almost be kind of fair. <laughs> well, not really, because... Uh, I, I don't think I explicitly stated this, uh, but I did see at least one person bring this up. But summons, uh, they they ignore your own units, right? So I can have a summon charged on one of my own characters, and it will not hit them, <laughs> despite that making no sense. Now, if I put him to sleep, there we go. Good game. Good game. Uh, so I probably just want to... I don't know what I want to do, honestly. Probably should wait for his turn to pass before we start piling on him, though. That only seems to make sense to me. Now, what will Agrias do? Yeah, see, now she's just running for Ophelia. Despite the fact that Gav Garion is the only thing left to kill, and he is nowhere near her. Uh, yeah, honestly, I, I want to wait for his turn to pass, then we can all just pile on him. Get the old chakra off, obviously. Probably should have done that for my G as well. Uh, because he can do some damage. He can do some damage with, like, a Holy Strike or, like, a Spirit Surge or something. Yeah, he can be okay. Kind of surprised Delita didn't, like, <laughs> just kill everything, though. He usually does. He did pretty well there, though, I have to say. Kind of rare to see him die like we did on the first attempt. Now, let's see. Does Do spells wake you up in this game? Because I swear they didn't. I swear they didn't, but they must, right? Because on the first time, we saw a Lancer that got woken up, I thought. Not that it would matter because he's still... In no way, shape, or form a threat at this point. Yeah, I guess it does. Huh, the more you know. And of course, there is that whole annoying thing where he's getting like 20 HP back every time he moves, but seeing as to how he's the last guy, I have everybody available now. I don't even really need to move Boko, and he's hasted, so he's going to get a few turns on him here. We can negate that move HP right now. Did I say negate it? I meant <laughs> completely fail. My bad. But Agrias, yes, see, now she's doing it. Yeah, she's just going to go protect Ophelia, though. I think that Delita will actually come help me out. And truth be told, if not for the whole thing where you have to protect Ophelia, I think that he could probably just solo this map, <laughs> in all honesty. Uh, but this should be the end of Gavgarion, I think. I just need to go for a Chakra right here, get our MP back. My G can pitch in as well. I'm not actually that worried about the crystals on this map. They would have been nice, sure. But Lancer skills aren't something that I am really rushing to get, I would say. Which is better, Spirit Surge probably? Yeah, we'll go for Spirit Surge, and that in itself is a kill. Don't need to go anywhere. I can even throw out one more Choco Ball. And Leviathan has a very small chance of missing. If it does, it's whatever, because I'm actually going to lock in Gafgarion by using uh, Boko. Yeah, I'm going to lock him into that spot so he... Basically, he won't be able to move. And if he can't move, then he can't get HP back at this point because he has no more Night Sword. Actually, there's no reason at all to attack him, and so I won't. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, you saw him get PA save, which boosts his physical attack by one every time it goes off. I guess we can go for the sleep. But yeah, you don't want to like you don't want to let him recover up a whole bunch because his, his his attack is basically increasing steadily throughout the entire fight. So you're honestly much better off taking him out in a few strong hits rather than chipping him down with like death of a thousand cuts, if that makes sense. Now, provided we don't miss this, then uh, the map is over. So that'd be great, and we hit, cool. You don't have to kill him. I think if you bring him to like 20 HP or so, he just runs away. Hey, there's a job level at least. Damn it! Damn it indeed. Okay, good game. So, yeah, we added a death this time. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. We might even have one more because we're not done with the AI just yet. <laughs> hey, at least I got my shield back, I think. Didn't my shield get stolen, or am I imagining that? Yeah, I've never really had luck that bad on that map before. I can honestly say, uh, truthfully, it's not that bad, but... One nasty trick that they threw in, though, is again the fact that you can't class change Gaff Garion in 1.3. He will always be a Dark Knight, and you can kind of see why that's bad. Ordinarily, if he was just like a really low HP chemist, you could just one-shot him on your first move and get him out of your hair immediately. Also, I think in the original game, those guys are all knights, not lancers, which is also a lot easier because of the whole jump thing. And I, I don't think that I explicitly stated this or not, but... The jump command actually ignores like 99% of reactions. I think that Blade Grasp still counts for some reason because that move was super OP in the original game. Uh, you, you can't buy Blade Grasp in 1.3, by the way. It's only for Cactars, I think. And also that one boss that had it in the original game still has it. But yeah, that map is not too bad. I, I will say this though, if you're watching this and you're thinking, oh man, it's just gonna be Leviathan spam. No, that doesn't carry on through the entire game. Uh. Summons are really strong in Act 2 and Act 3 to be short, but by Act 4 it's just not really like nearly as viable. I'm sure there are ways you could make it work, but that's also another reason you don't want to level up too much. Uh, because the enemy's speed will increase with level, however the amount of time it takes you to cast a spell does not decrease at all. Leviathan will take the exact same amount of time to cast right now as it will at the end of the game, uh, discounting short charge of course. So in that sense, it's good to keep your levels low so the enemy's speed stays low for longer. That way you can use spells more effectively. If, this, if these guys have like 20 speed for example, then the spells that take a very long time to cast become almost worthless. And that's why I think that something like Leviathan would be better than say Cyclops no matter what, because it's still kinda fast but it's also really strong. Just throwing that out there. Leave the princess with me. It's better for her. Did you see how much ass I kicked on that last map, dude? Delita, what are you scheming? Scheming? Don't be foolish. I'm telling the truth. Think about it. Where would you take her after making enemy of the Hokuten? Crack Hokuten troops will come here looking for you anytime now. Just where the hell do you plan on escaping to? Well, I... I like how Delita just comes in and makes us look so incompetent. <laughs> Normally I don't like that, but it's it's more to say that Delita's really smart than it is to say that we're really stupid. Think carefully. The princess knows this was Prince Larg's plan. The royal family is not on your side. So what about Goltana? No, he'd execute you just to clear himself. What would you do? I'd do what you can't do. What do you mean? I can't tell you. I'll leave the princess with you a little longer. Delita, I'm glad I could see you again. Tita saved me. What? Tita saved me back then. Which is true. <laughs> I don't think they ever explicitly state it, but I, I imagine that she shielded him from the explosion, like with her body, or something like that. That's that's what I assume. Again, I don't think that Delita specifically says that, but it would seem to be the implication. Thank you, Delita. See you again, my G. Ophelia, we're gonna bang later. <laughs> my G, thanks for your support. <laughs> but are you sure you want to make Hokuten an enemy? The Hokuten, it should be. Don't worry, I've already decided. The question is, now what should we do? Like Delita said, nobody's gonna help us. We can ask Cardinal Draclau for help. Labados Church has jurisdiction over Lionel. They might be able to help. The Hokuten has to be careful with what they do in Lionel. Let's go. It's the only place for us. 
Yep, no Bethel Garrison. Thank God we can put that nightmare off until Act 4. <laughs> so that is one of the hardest parts of this game, in my opinion. Uh, next to Riavana's Castle, which we'll see in, like, forever. <laughs> that one, at least I know how to do it now. Uh, but Bethel Garrison, oh man, that's gonna be a trip. A and so could this map be as well, potentially. Uh, is there anything I really need to buy here? I really don't think there is. Ah, uh, yes, and of course, Ovelia, right? So she comes as a guest. However, she doesn't actually show up on any map from here on in. What we're gonna do instead then is take all of her stuff because it's really good. You can see by <laughs> removing all of her crap, she's actually losing four magic. All oh, right, she's only gonna gain three magic actually, excuse me. But still, but still. Now, <laughs> now she kills everything even harder, basically. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why doesn't, why doesn't Butts have all the good stuff here? Yeah, that's more like it. That's way more like it. I don't know if I want the power wrist, though. I think we want the spike shoes. Or maybe the bat. Nah, we'll give him the battle boots, actually. I think that four might be enough. It's either four or five. I honestly can't remember. But he, he's going to want some jump, I think. Yeah, I'm actually going to go with the spike shoes. I'm pretty sure that, I'm pretty sure that regardless, we'll be able to blow up everybody with Leviathan. So I don't think that the extra little bit is going to make a difference. Is there anything else we can even do with her, really? I'm pretty sure that the uh, the JP that she gets as a guest doesn't count for when she becomes fully playable. So I'm going to give her a counter throw in the off chance she gets hit. I guess I should have went with move plus one, actually. <laughs> Whoops. And again, Ovelia, she has some stuff, but you can't see it from the menu. And also, she's never being deployed again. For some reason, though, she's a level 8 chemist, which is <laughs> strange to say the least. Oh, hey, we got Geomancer for, uh, for butts here. Maybe we want to switch him over. I don't know. But truthfully, uh, I think the best Geomancer is my G. Honestly, because he has balanced magic and physical stats, and Geomancers take advantage of both. Uh, a close second, I guess, would be like Agrias. She's probably a pretty good Geomancer herself. And let's see how the AI is feeling. We already saw how it wanted to do me on the last map, so hopefully, at the very least, we can get some good luck on this one to make up for it, eh? Again, I'm, I'm really thinking about... I think we want to be on this side for one. Uh, I'm thinking about bringing Boko, though. Uh, and if I did, he would probably... Mm, no, 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 no. I, shoot, man. Next time, I think we're going to vary up the team a little bit more, but I... Must, okay, so this map, right? The goddamn... The guy on this map is so dumb. He really is, and I, I just fear that if I don't go balls to the wall with this, I'm going to lose. So, so uh, butts it is. We'll bring along Dude and Valanus for the next ones. But... Anybody who's played this game before will tell you that even on, like, even in the regular game, right? They would tell you that this guy is an asshole and loves to get himself killed. And that's absolutely true. It's even worse than this, in fact, because the enemies are so much stronger. And I will say, though, that just like every other mission, you don't have to technically save this guy. There is another option, but I don't want to lose the brave. <laughs> you can't escape. Give it to us if you fail your life. What do you want? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb, it's not you. Don't care about your father? Just give us the Holy Stone and we'll return him. Okay, guys, get him. Shouldn't we let him respond first? No, I said get him. <laughs> and you can tell Rudvik to go fuck himself. If he lays a hand on father, he'll never see the stone. An argument. Someone's after that young man. Don't want to get involved. I'm a coward. Or we can help him. We gotta help him. It's 10 brave. Uh, for a total of 2 brave permanently. He'll be killed if we don't do something. Let's help. I agree. And by choosing to do that, this map becomes a lot harder because... <laughs> Mastadio there can do a lot of things, okay? Uh, it really just depends on his compatibility with these guys. If he has good compatibility, chances are he's gonna run in like Rambo and get himself killed. <laughs> That's usually what happens. Which is exactly why we're gonna take Boko. Yeah, we're going to take Boko, and I think we're going to try to disable one of these oracles. Because, well, I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if they can petrify him. I know that they can potentially have the petrify skill, because as we've seen, that is an oracle skill. We missed, that's fine. I wanted to throw Boko out here anyways, though, because I want them to be uh, drawn away from Mastadio, basically. And Mastadio is going to, wait, 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 <laughs> wait! What? 
you guys see that? <laughs> what? That's so dumb. That is so dumb. Oh my god, I have had it with this guy and we haven't even recruited him yet. That's crazy. <laughs> so he, he just totally wasted a move, in other words. Brilliant. Totally brilliant. So, Boko is gonna die, but that was part of the plan, believe it or not. Uh, we just... We just need to give these guys better targets, basically. Anybody who's not Mastadio, because we, as we can see, he's a real winner. And he will certainly not hesitate to make poor decisions. Now, what is this? Ah, uh, Petrify. Interesting, interesting. You know, annoyingly, I actually don't think I gave Agrias soft. So if that goes through... If that goes through, that could be it for my G, actually. Uh, I should be able to get a haste off with him, if nothing else. And we still have a battery. Oh, oh, we gotta bug it. We gotta bug it, and this is why. <laughs> now, I gave Agrias the spike shoes, so she can actually run up and crush these guys pretty quickly, if I have luck. Now, do I have to move, or can I just Leviathan the hell out of these guys from right here? No, 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 no. We can get up to four of these clowns. Oh, my God. Yep, this is where we want. Right here. And we are going to get it popping, you already know. You already know. And we're still on equal height, so if I need to, I can, like, chakra. Basically, no, not wait. But Leviathan right here. And, uh, if we've done this correctly. Yes, sir, that is a beautiful sight. <laughs> that is a beautiful sight. Now, we are going to get popped by that petrified. Potentially. Uh, potentially. Which is why we're going to throw a haste right here. Because this at least gives us something out of the turn in case that goes wrong. So we can at least maybe get haste on 2B. But we'll get it on 1 for sure. We'll get it on Muffin for sure. And then probably Butts as we do. Cool. So even if I get smacked by a stone, we're still in this fight. Uh, now, worst case scenario would be... Mastadio getting stopped. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So that was a little bit lucky. We didn't need that, per se. But it's certainly nice. Certainly nice. I will not complain. Always nice to have one extra hand on deck after all. Don't stop. Please, thank you. We still need to book it, though. Uh, just because I could kill up to five of these guys. Uh, realistically, like, two or three, probably. I should imagine there will be some stragglers. But even though we're getting all this damage, it doesn't really matter because that other Oracle can probably just kill Mustadio if we're not careful. Let's see it. And a three-piece. Almost four, even. Wow. <laughs> I love that spell. I really do. Uh, now, do you have, like, black magic or anything? Uh, he has white magic, so maybe Spirit Surge gets me... Oh, man, this is a toss-up because I would really like to, uh, to Chakra Muffin so she can, like, just Leviathan again and prevent anything stupid from happening. But I would also like to heal Mustadio because he himself is really stupid and will probably die if I don't. As they say, though, fortune favors the bold. Let's do it. I'm going to bring back Muffin, and I'm going to throw butts up on the wall, which is why we gave him... Uh, Actually, did we give him the spike shoes, or is he just that good? Yeah, he's just that good. He can jump pretty high. Jump is pretty useful on this map. We're going to throw him right here, because that's going to block the Oracle. And I don't think I'll get another Leviathan in time, but I can still... Well, I can... I can actually just wait right here, I think. Yeah, I'll just wait right there. Hopefully, Mistadio isn't an idiot. There we go. That's what he should have done the first time. So, my man has a gun, as you can see. And they have hell range. Now, this monk should only waste his time by reviving as he does, which is good. But yeah, Mastadio has hell range. It's just that sometimes he forgets that and just runs in headfirst anyways. <laughs> now, Agria should be able to potentially get this guy to my ear. If, if she gets a stop right here, it's over. Nope, but that's fine. I don't think that the yin yang dude can do anything. Like, nothing meaningful anyways. Can I spirit surge, maybe... I actually can. Is that going to drop into HP Restore? I actually don't think that it will, so I'm going to go for it. A little bit risky, but I think that this should actually keep him just out of range for that. And if anything, Mastadio will kill him. Yes, good, he's out of range. The only time that goes off is, again, if he gets dropped into critical HP. So even though he's very low, it's not technically critical, which is what we want. 
And in fact, he's going to waste his time by healing. And by this point, we can certainly throw out one more Leviathan. Now we just got to make sure that we are actually watching the ranges here. Although truthfully, since I'm going to move and since I'm positive they won't get this off before me, I mean, they'll get to the rejuvenate, but they won't be able to like, they won't be able to kill me basically. Uh, so I'm just going to go all in. Yeah, seems <laughs> seems like it makes sense to me. Now again, we can't do this all game long, obviously, but for for the time being, this is a very very good way of dealing huge AOE damage like this. This guy may survive due to the rejuvenate, but we'll drop the Oracle, which is more important, I feel. Yeah, so he's gonna bring back everybody a little bit, but it's not gonna be enough. It's really just not. Especially if this Leviathan does any kind of meaningful damage to the monk. Uh, and failing that, honestly, uh, Mastadio can just drop people himself. So we should be good. And Bogo's coming back right now. Bogo's coming back right now as well. So that should be good. Uh, you probably live. He lived the first one, I think. So if I attack him right now with Boko, that's probably the way to go. Uh, alternatively, I could go for, like, like a sleep on that guy, I guess wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, maybe I want to try that, actually, because he's really the only thing that could go wrong at this point. And it's not even that he's going to go, it's not even so much that he's causing things to go wrong, so much as he is making them take way longer. So if I sleep this guy, it's over. Or even confused, really, would probably do it. Ah, Boko is not with it on this map. I will say that he still did his job, though, because he took the heat off Mustadio, which is all I was worried about. Uh, as you can see, it wouldn't have really mattered if my G would have gotten petrified either. So really, it is just a matter of keeping Mustadio safe on the first round. So there's a kill. No, oh, never mind, never mind. I was going to say it's a little bit weird that he didn't get the Dragon Spirit, but actually, you can't get a reaction if, uh, if you level up, basically. So Mustadio redrops that guy as expected. And he's the last one. He's either going to drop Boko or revive. Either way, it doesn't matter. Looks like revive. But we have enough AoEs in uh, Le Leviathan Spam and Agrios. In fact, I can just hit this guy from right here, so why not, right? Redrop him. Nice revive there, bud. Nice revive there, bud. <laughs> so at least this map went well. This can this can be so much worse, guys. <laughs> this can be one of the worst maps easily if you don't have, like, a good first turn. And that's really the name of the game, honestly. Like I say, if you can save Mastadio and then rush the rest of these guys to death, then you're probably fine. Uh, you don't want to take too long, though, because Mastadio is very prone to killing himself. Uh, is sleep? No, no, no. We can just... Honestly, we can just start killing him. Like, straight up. I think if I do that, then the next Leviathan will be enough. Yeah, 48 plus Leviathan is a dead uh, monk. And feeling that, Agrios can still probably finish him. And feeling that, Mastadio certainly can. So we're good. We're good here, folks. Uh, let's just make sure I can be chakra somehow. Yeah, so right here is fine. And we can get this chakra up. And now, that looks like a good game to me. It really does. So the fact that Ovelia brought along so much nice magic crap is really helping us out here, I won't lie. But again, that's only going to get us so far. It really is. Uh, I will say that it's a little bit weird, in a way, because in the original game, right, the physical classes are the ones that became overkill way faster. Uh, granted, magic was always good in the original as well. Uh, well, certain spells were. Certain spells were. Some of the later ones kind of pointless. Uh, but for the most part, you can do, like, really crazy stuff with physical classes, right? Like two swords, monks, uh, martial arts ninjas, things like that. And you can get really, really, really overkill damage that way. But in this game, it's actually kind of the opposite, where the physical classes are more for their durability early on or like their other unique traits like thieves are really fast right 
So despite the fact that they don't have any crazy AoE or anything, you can still do stuff with turn order by using their high speed. Classes like Knights, obviously they make great tanks because they have lots of HP. You can give them something like throw an item and they're, they're, they're really good support units, but they don't do a whole lot of damage. But later in the game, uh, physical classes do eventually overtake the magic ones, I would say. So keep that in mind. We can't do this forever. Are you alright? Yeah, I think so. Thanks for helping me. God damn it, guy. <laughs> well, I say that. He, re he really didn't screw me too much this time. I will say. But what what was up with that totally whiffed shot of his? He, he like, he didn't even try, man. He literally shot the ground. Oh, and in case your magic wasn't enough, here's a wizard staff on top of that. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I do think that it's fair that magic is so good, though, because it definitely pushes you in that direction. Just see that? Another wizard rod. Another wizard robe. Another wizard mantle. So now we can, we can in theory have two uh, summoners, but that's sort of overkill in a lot of ways, in my opinion. I kind of like having a support unit, but that, that's just me, I guess. Like, my G could probably big up Leviathan and do the same thing, but I don't know. I, I kind of like him on support. He's very, very good at it. Okay, so with that map out of the way, fortunately for the time being, there's, <laughs> there's not going to be too many more defend missions. Uh, well, I say that, there's at least one more before this act is over, but for now, we're good. <laughs> they were troublemakers hired by the Bart Company. Bart Company? The Importer? You know them? They're not just traitors. They're a criminal syndicate into everything from smuggling and slavery. From smuggling to slavery, it should say. <laughs> Sorry, my grammar Nazi inside me, I guess. <laughs> why were they after you? You know why they call us mechanics? I hear a lost civilization is hidden under Goog. When St. Ajora was alive, airships were in the sky and human robots in town. But time passed, technology was lost, and no one knows if it ever really existed. But the civilization must have existed. Parts from many airships and machines are buried under Goog. Mechanics are the ones who restore the past legacies. That weird thing you used in battle, was that one of the machines? Oh, this? It's called a gun. A metal bullet is propelled by gunpowder. And I'm gonna point it at you to prove a point. God damn, it's not Yo, gun safety. This is the most simple one. They say you used to be able to put magic in it and shoot it. Foreshadowing. Hmm. Why is Bart's company after you? You said you were going to see the Cardinal. He was a hero in the 50-year war. People in Lionel still think of him as a hero. My father, too. The Cardinal is the only one who can unite this country. I know he'd grant your wish. Then the princess would be safe. So how much did we tell this guy exactly? <laughs> yeah, and your point? Can you take me with you? I want to meet the Cardinal. Why? To save my father. The Cardinal's the only one who can rescue him from Bart. But he wouldn't want to meet some mechanic like myself, so please take me with you. You still haven't told us why they're after you. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. I can't tell you now. Then we can't take you. I beg you, trust me, I must see the Cardinal. On your knees, boy! <laughs> it's a princess. Alright, you can come with us. Really? Thank you, your highness. Remember, you're in the presence of a princess. It's alright, please stand up. Alright then, I trust you. That didn't take very much convincing there, Agrius. <laughs> but, I think that is going to do it for now. Uh, I do believe. There's nothing really special I have to do before the next one either. I think there's some more propositions here at Zealand. I'll probably do those. I'm still working towards the same crap, trying to get a dancer, trying to get uh, a bard with my G as well, but we can't send him on propositions, obviously. Uh, so I guess I'm just going to do that, and next time we're going to move on to Bury You Hill, which is way harder. <laughs> it's way, way harder than these last ones, that's for sure. I definitely remember this one being like a brick wall, if you're not careful. I guess we're going to see what happens with that. Ah, but until then, thank you for watching. Hope that you enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like rating. Helps me out, and I will catch you guys next time. See you then. Peace.